Hey babes! My name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you enjoy and if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified the next time I post a new video. First and foremost, I want to thank you so much if you're subscribed to the channel. I finally hit 5,000 subscribers. It's very overwhelming, but I'm really excited so I'm hosting another giveaway. This giveaway, I feel like is like so epic and it's one of my favorite giveaways I've hosted. You have to wait until the end of the video to see how to enter and what goodies you will be receiving, okay? Let's just dive right in. This video, I wanted to create it because I get asked this question so much. How did you start in the lash industry? I wanna be in the lash industry, I just don't know where to start. And there's no right or wrong way of how to enter the industry. I'm sure most of you guys have reached out to other people and probably heard other people's stories and everyone is so unique and that's the great thing about life and the industry. Everyone's path is completely different and you don't have to follow someone's path for it to make sense to you. You can if that feels right, but you don't have to. Everyone is very unique and if the lash industry is calling your name, just appreciate every step of the way and once you're in the industry, you love it here because we all do. I first heard about lash extensions in beauty school. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I went to beauty school for everything. Nails, skin, hair. Everyone is different. Some people just have an esthetician license and some people in Texas only have a license to do eyelash extensions. Crazy. Everyone is so different and my goal with this video is to just motivate you guys and show you guys you can do it if you really want to be in the industry because it's an amazing industry and once everything clicks for you, you're going to be obsessed. Trust me. I learned about lash extensions in beauty school when I was taking my like skincare course because as a full licensed cosmetologist, you learn nails, skin, hair, everything. I went to beauty school initially to do makeup and hair. I wanted to be on telenovelas, doing hair, blowouts, makeup on Disney princesses. I did not think that I wanted to do like nails or skin or anything like that when we did the skincare little shop or whatever like a couple months of skincare and um waxing and things like that they taught eyelash extensions for one or two days i didn't even do a model it was just like us watching someone do it and them explain it but they didn't really explain it too too well and i kind of kind of forgot about it once i got my license i went into a full beauty service salon i started doing more makeup and hair but i was doing a lot of men haircuts it was about 95 percent men haircuts five percent women hair color makeup waxing the stuff that i really wanted to do one day my best friend at the salon had her friend come in to get her hair done or something like that and they knew each other from beauty school so we start you know chatting it up and talking about where she works at and she says she works at a lash lounge she said come apply and they hire in groups so you apply and then they hire like four to six girls every like three months and they train them so me and my best friend went to apply and we both got hired on the spot well not on the spot there was two interviews one was with the owner and the second one was with another two girls I believe that they just like wanted to scope you out make sure like you fit the team aesthetic and like that you were hyped about it and stuff like that you didn't have to know lash extensions you just had to be licensed as a esthetician or a cosmetologist so I got hired like I said and we started we got hired hourly hourly pay and then you went to commission I always tell people that's how I started in the industry I started at a lash lounge where people already knew lash extensions and they already had a good clientele coming in and out of the building and that's what I recommend because that's how I started so anytime someone does ask me what do you recommend me starting I always say like start with a team that already knows how to do lash extensions and kind of like let them bring you under their wing because they're already established they already have the clientele and they could just like really help you when i 
got hired we were in a room for about i don't remember like about a month two months working on each other they were teaching us how to present ourselves to the client how to bring them back how to cleanse the client's eyes how to apply the lashes and all that stuff you know like the theory and the actual practical and we started practicing on the other girls um family members and stuff like that our family members so i feel like it was the best way to start off because it was so hard i did my best friend's lashes for three hours and i only had 10 hairs on each eye there's people now that i know that are in the industry that have just gotten out of beauty school went and took a training for two days and are killing it but then there's people like me that i needed like those months of like getting paid hourly hello and being able to practice so everyone's different that's how mine started that's how I started in the industry there I loved it because there was about 70 girls I'm not sure but she had two locations one in Henderson and one in Rainbow and this is out in Las Vegas um, and there was like three tiers it was like apprentice junior and master so the apprentice of course were all getting paid hourly we had just started we we're barely building our clientele once you moved from apprentice to junior I think she had us do like have some Yelp reviews under our names and have like clients like rebooking us because we all shared clients so once we were done with them we would send them up front we would walk them up front and the reception area would check them out and rebook them they would say when do you want to come back what day works best for you and they would just book them with whoever but if that client really loved you they could say oh I want to rebook with her specifically and that's how you would like jump from apprentice to junior to master and because we were all sharing clients we wanted our work to be perfect we did not want stickies we did not want them to come back with no lashes so I feel like starting there was definitely a great thing for my career once um, we but another thing is I didn't know about lash products I didn't know about tweezers I didn't know about other lash artists because I was clocking in once I left I clocked out I did my own thing I didn't talk to customers I didn't have to promote on Instagram I didn't have to buy my own product so it's like you a win and a lose you know like I could have done it by myself and researched different products and stuff like that but because I didn't have to buy it she like private labeled her own things I would just clock in and clock out. I feel like that was a great starting point in my lash career. I moved from Vegas to Memphis, and when I moved here, I didn't transfer my license. I was working at Sephora, then I worked at Ulta, and I was working as a prestige beauty advisor, and it was just getting a little bit overwhelming. Customer service was not the go for me. I feel like people there felt like they knew more than me if something was out of stock they were they would attack me like if i was the owner and i was just ready to like use my license again so i started looking for lash places here and i found one that i was really interested in i still haven't i still hadn't transferred my license over so i had just gone in to see like what how is your studio like what do i need like what what are you expecting from me right so I did my cousin's lashes as a model and she wanted to hire me on the spot but I had to let her know I hadn't transferred my license over. Red flag number one with her, she wanted to hire me without a license. She said, it's fine, come work. And if you've gone to beauty school, if you're a licensed cosmetologist or whatever, they tell you, if state board catches you working without a license, they will take your license away and you'll never have it again. So I already knew that and I'm like, why are you paying me through this? But whatever, I was like, ooh, I'm that good. She wants to hire me or whatever. So I was getting kind of pumped up, transferred my license and I started working at Benefit doing brows and cluster lashes at Ulta for like three days a week. And then I was doing lash extensions with her. Working with her, it was a hot mess. I started with Groupons. How Groupon works is, let's say your full set is $150. Groupon makes you mark it down 50%, so that's only $75 that your client is pay paying, but they pay to Groupon. Groupon then takes half of that. So what is 75 divided by two? $37. You get $37 for a full set, but I was getting paid, I think, like $10 from that. So she was earning $20 and I was earning $10. But let me tell you this. 
she marketed her full set as $300 so half of that was 150 her clients are paying and she was paying me like $10 and I was like you know what that's fine I don't have a lot of clients here whatever but the thing is also that was my work walking around she only would book Groupons for one hour how is an hour worth $300 and it was just a hot overall hot mess there she's if you guys have watched my videos like all of them she's the one that only had one mascara wand and told me that that's the one she used for her clients it was a hot mess the only lash lengths she had was like 10s 12s 14s 17s she was trained by extreme so i don't think she's like she's like i've been doing lashes for 13 years without training with anyone else so it was just like a overall hot mess I didn't want to deal with it at all so I decided to come get my own studio getting my own studio was really hard at first because of course you have to do a lot of down payments like first month's rent and like a whole two-year lease and it was just very scary but once I signed it I still had those kind of Groupon clients that really enjoyed my services so they came along I had like about three four clients and I just marketed the shit out of myself what I would do is I would go to the mall I would pass out business cards I would also tell my um, existing clients recommend your friends give them a discount and I still did have Groupon open for about like my first two three months in my studio but then it started getting overwhelming and I started getting booked pretty fast what I recommend is if you have two clients treat them like queens do go above and beyond for them if they need to reschedule if they need to do this at your own discretion you know try to be the best lash artist you could be like top notch and I promise you they're gonna tell their friends they're gonna tell their kids they're gonna tell their parents they're gonna tell everyone that they love it because the more good lash artists there is the better good clients there's going to be because a lot of the times I would encounter people at the stores like I hate lash extensions like they damage your natural lashes but I kind of started like working on my Instagram and I would show them pictures and I'm like this is my work it lasts about two to three weeks you just need touch-ups they feel amazing and people started coming like it was crazy it was scary but that is my lash journey and I am still growing to this day I want to expand I want to bring someone else on on board with my team so I can like make more videos do TikToks, do Instagrams and stuff like that I just need to find someone I have a feeling that I want to bring someone along that hasn't learned how to do lash extensions all the way that is maybe a cosmetologist or maybe an esthetician that wants to do lash extensions and I could bring them under my wing and teach them the right way so definitely if you want to start in this industry I highly suggest you do because it is amazing and there's like a lot of other like little stories I could tell you about my journey but then this video would be way way too too long so I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get into the giveaway my camera died I did get a new camera for my birthday and it died so this is gonna be a test to see if it has better audio better quality than my old camera okay one lucky winner is going to be receiving my favorite lash items which include the untamed artistry adhesive it's seriously the best in my opinion Borboletta OG Lashes, super cute and chic. Obsessed with this, it's the Kami Nigun Lash Prep and Prime. You'll be obsessed as well, I promise you that. My favorite lash tweezers, which are by Lash Affair. This is the isolating one with the little measuring tool and the best boot tweezer out there. Super cute and gold, <laughs> super cute. And my favorite tape by Nichibon. This is the only tape I use here in the studio. The best by far. And last but not least, a three-month subscription, you heard that right, a three-month subscription to Lorena Dear Lash Loves t-shirt subscription. I've been subscribed to this for about two years now and they are always super cute t-shirts. You've most likely seen me wearing them here on my YouTube and on my Instagram. The thing that I love about them is that sometimes she throws in extra goodies like I've gotten a scrunchie, adhesive, keychain, like she does like really cute little things and with this design she sends it in a little sticker. I'm collecting all the stickers so I could do a DIY project in the future but 
that's what you will be receiving if you win i hope you guys are excited as much as i am to enter it's going to be kind of easy if you have seen my giveaways in the past you know i only mentioned them one time here on youtube and as well on my ig to enter what you have to do is look for an emoji it's going to be a secret emoji like this on my videos i think there's going to be four videos until the giveaway ends i usually host the giveaways for a month just so a lot of you guys can enter so on my videos from today until the giveaway ends i will have a secret emoji it might be in the beginning middle end it's gonna be a secret. What you have to do is see that emoji, comment it down below on my um, comment section. Whoever is like, I feel like whoever like comments the first have the higher chances of winning. So make sure you are subscribed with your post notification bell on so you can be one of the first. Another thing you have to do to enter is screenshot on your phone the video right when I post it. Post it on your IG stories. Once you post that, I. Um, have a new video on your ig stories and you tag me i'm going to be collecting those as well so those are the two ways you have to enter and whoever is like the like the first ones to be able to do that i'm going to be able to see because i don't want to do like number generator in the past so again to enter if you did not if i did not make sense watch my videos my next four videos i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have a secret emoji in the video you see that emoji comment it in the comments here on youtube with your um instagram name so i could you know correlate both of them screenshot my video right when i post it take that screenshot post it on your instagram stories and tag me so i could collect them and that's how you're entered to win these goodies and in four weeks yeah in four weeks i will announce the winner so good luck i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to share it with a lash friend let's share the lash love give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed give it a thumbs down if you didn't so i can know subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified the next time i post a new video and until then bye my loves you can also quickly subscribe if you click my face here you're subscribed to the channel and go watch two other of my videos before you go i love you bye